I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with the Cloud Glass. And Microsoft, of course, has had a public cloud for quite a while now. And you guys are helping build out a private cloud version of that, Azure Stack. Yeah. What's the significance of that in terms of public-private combined? Yeah, so uh, you know, if you look at you know what we've been working on with Microsoft and with our customers is about making you know hybrid IT simple. Uh, if you look at uh, Microsoft Azure Stack, it really helps customers who are already running uh, Azure-centric services uh, and need to be able to bring those on premise. Uh, what we've been able to do is really engineer a complete solution, uh, bringing together our HPE infrastructure and technology with Microsoft's technology um, to really help simplify uh, those solutions for our customers. So, What is it that HP is doing that making, that's making it more simple? Well, part of it's just pre-engineered. Uh, part of it is uh, the offering itself, um, the flexibility of the offering. Uh, if you look at it, uh, you know, we allow our customers to kind of expand by node, uh, which is a little bit different than, than what you'll see in other parts of the industry. Um, having the underlying infrastructure, uh, you know, security, performance, and all of our infrastructure based on Proliant technology. Uh, having the engineering of the overall solution and making that very simple for our customers to consume. Uh, also, uh, Point Next services, having the services uh, to be able to help deliver that solution uh, and help our customers implement it, uh, as well as uh, the ability to consume in a flexible way. So you think about flexible capacity, to be able to, to put on one invoice a single uh, pay-as-you-go, uh, scale-up, scale-down type of, of model in place around Azure Stack. Uh, is something that we think is very compelling for our customers, something that they're looking for, and something that HPE uh, uh, has pulled together for them. So you mentioned something about bringing things out of the cloud and into the data center yep. uh, with, with Azure Stack. What about going the other direction? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's definitely, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, that capability. I, I think the, you know, right now, if you look at what Azure Stack is really focused on, it's very focused on areas where you have data sovereignty or edge-based applications that maybe don't have the connectivity to be able to run in the cloud in Azure. And so very targeted at being able to run those Azure services there. Uh, I think over time, yes, I think you'll see some of that go from one to the other. Uh, you know, we very much believe that this is going to be a, a hybrid type of environment going, um, going forward. Uh, and I think you've got to, you know, and part of what we want to make sure that we're doing for our customers is helping them place those workloads in the right place. Um, you hear us talk a lot about the right mix, and the right mix is, you know, not all on premise and not all in the cloud, but it's it's how do you get it to the best place where it's the most economical uh, and the easiest for you to manage and use uh, to deliver outcomes for your customers. And I guess I, I would be remiss in not asking about how this may or may not fit into NewStack in the future. Yeah, uh, if you think about, uh, you know, uh, actually HPE OneSphere uh, is uh, is the the new name for NewStack. Uh, and what you'll see is that's all about um, helping customers orchestrate, manage, uh, and deliver, uh, you know, basically multi-cloud, multi-vendor type of environments. Uh, and you know, Azure Stack and Azure, uh, along with other cloud providers, are, will be part of that vision. So, uh, you know, definitely in conjunction. You, and what you'll see over time, you know, is uh, more HPE technology wrapped around Azure Stack to be able to deliver, uh, you know, compelling solutions and innovations for our customers. Very cool. All right, great. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Yeah.